Hi. Hello. I'm the theme park you haven't been to in 20 years. Derek. I'm the water park you haven't ever been to. Kevin. And we are at Magic Mountain today. We are here for the 30th anniversary of Fright Fest, which is the haunted attraction here at Magic Mountain. We are so excited. Right. Um, Neither of us have been to this event before. Yeah, I've so. never been to it here. I definitely have been to a Fright Fest before at Discovery Kingdom, but that was actually my intro to haunts. Oh, she's fancy. And where I fell in love with haunts. So I'm really excited to check this out. We're going to try some different foods. We're going to do all the things. So join us as we go Beyond the Turnstile. So, fun thing about this theme park, um, since neither of us have really been here... We don't and, know where anything is. <laughs> yeah, we don't know where anything is, so we're trying to get somewhere and we're going to try to figure out where it is. There are no signs. There are no signs. And no maps. So... So we just went through, um, you do have to have park admission to get into the theme park, and then you buy haunt passes separately. It's very different price. than like a Universal Studios, um, where... Your ticket to Halloween Horror Nights is your ticket to sort of all access. You have to get this. So that means you can do scare zones and everything else with just a regular admission ticket. But to do the houses, you got to get this guy, right? Yes. Is that right? Yes, that is correct. So um, a little bit different than the model that we've seen at other theme parks. Um, so it's a little, a little interesting. But honestly, we got here early. And the good thing with this is that you can enjoy the entire park. Now, we are here mainly for Fright Fest. But... If we had wanted to, we could have come at park opening today. So um, you do have that option available to you if you want to do more than just see the haunt attractions. Um, we did try to order some of the seasonal food at the front of the park. In fact, see if it is still trying to be, yep, it's still being prepared. Uh, that was about an hour ago. Yeah, that was a really long time. Um, <laughs> and we waited in a really crazy line and it that just wasn't, it wasn't moving. Um, and so we've been wandering the park. We finally found somewhere that we could order food from. Um, but, it, and this was fast for us to get, but also, um, this is, out, yeah. This is a $17 chicken sandwich. Yeah, and this is this, also. I mean, this looks like sort of a better value. Right. They were the same price. Um, yeah. But they were hot and they were ready. So what I'm what I'm learning about Magic Mountain. I keep wanting to say Magic Kingdom. Magic Mountain. <laughs> Not Magic Kingdom, bro. Magic Mountain is um, it, the ticket is rather inexpensive, but when you are in this gate, they are price gouging for everything. So yeah. um yeah, I don't know. Not the best first impression so far. Um, and I will say, like, we're here for Fright Fest, right? The problems that we've experienced thus far are not specifically Fright Fest related, but they are things that, as people who don't come to this park very often, we kind of took for granted. Sure. Using Universal's mobile order and Disney's mobile order and sort of, sort of expecting that. Um, or Knott's just has food efficiency. So right. it's like... You don't wait that long, unless you're at, like, the one barbecue place that's a little crazy. But, um, yeah, I don't know. We'll see how this is. I'm, You know, we'll talk about the food. Children or others who do not wish to be scared. There are a lot. There is no place to hide. You have been warned. I'm gonna. What were you gonna tell? They they were like, oh, there's nowhere to hide. You can hide in a food line. Yeah. That's not moving, and that's an 80 people deep. <laughs> You're fine. But anyway, let's let's try this. Let's try this chicken sandwich. It's 
what used to be a chicken breast, um, <laughs> fried pickles, and this is supposed to be a garlic sauce on a brioche bun. So, no, what the hell? I've had a good life. All right, how was that? Okay. Tough. The chicken is tough because it is burnt. It is overcooked. The, gar the fried pickle is fine. I don't think it adds anything. It doesn't add texture. It doesn't add flavor. The garlic sauce, though, is very garlicky. We're sitting under a roller coaster. It's very, very garlicky. So I'm kind of hit in the face with garlic, and then I have burns tough chicken on the back end, and then this weird, like, textured pickle thing that doesn't really matter. Okay, where is it on your ticket scale? A. <laughs> this is an A ticket, but I'm going to finish it because I, was, I haven't I haven't eaten since 9.30. I was given, I was given milk. Milk. Great power come milk. <laughs> a, I'm gonna put the A ticket. Um, but I also haven't eaten since 9.30 this morning, so I'm going to eat this. All right, so I got the chicken tender basket and I paid extra, a, a trend I'm noticing at Magic Mountain, um, for it to be in this sauce that's like a sweet and sticky, spicy sauce. So we'll give this a try. It smells kind of like um, Thai chili sauce. Like that's kind of the smell that I'm getting. So we'll see how it is. Try a bite now. God, it's hot. <laughs> Ooh, that's a face. We are making a face. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know what to say. Um, it's, it's a little spicy. It's definitely sticky. It's also intensely sour, um, and a little bit bur burned flavor. Um. What that the, is what not what I thought it would taste like based on its smell. What's the ticket rating? It's an A. It's, it's an, an A. a. Uh, yeah, this is this is double A, girl. This is double A. All right. Yikes. All right. All right. So we finished eating. The event has just opened. So we are going to actually backtrack a little bit. And we're going to go over to an area where there's quite a few haunted houses. So um, hopefully we can get into some of those. Fingers crossed, because it's not looking great on the scene. mean it. This is, this is not magical, but it is a mountain. It's a mountain. That's not a, they're not just saying that. That's not just a joke. They said, guess what? We're going to give you no food and then make you burn off the calories you didn't eat by walking up a steep ass hill. Yeah. Not that people approve. Why are these people not wearing shirts? <laughs>
very limber. I'm very impressed. Okay. Okay. Okay, I have thoughts. I also do. Um, there was a part where we had to walk over a really... It wasn't real. It wasn't real, but it looked narrow. Yeah, a narrow bridge over like a high surface. Yeah. Um, and honestly, that is one of the better effects I've ever yeah. seen in a haunted house. Well, so first, so Sewer of Souls here, right? They give you these glasses Yeah. Um, that are, if you've ever seen it like Christmas time, they make, you know, the snowflakes look like different things. Lights look like different things. Um, which is hard for me with my glasses. I have a hard time with, like, 3D effects. But um, that, coupled with this, like, narrow bridge where it looks like you're going to fall into water, um, you know, consciously I knew, like, nothing's going to happen. I'm not going to fall in water. But also I was like, Jesus, girl, I'm about to fall in water. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was it was very effective. I really yeah. enjoyed I actually... That was actually better than I had expected standing in line. I was like, oh, this is going to be so stupid. Yeah. It was actually really good. Yeah, and I will say... Okay, here's, here's my honest assessment. The scare actors are a lot of high school and young this is This kids. is Improv 101. You're taking it for freshman credit. Yeah. Um, and you know what? It's actually okay, I it's think. A, it's okay. It still works because somebody jumping out around a corner is still very effective. I, I still got spooked, but what's interesting is they, they try to improv with you. Yes. Um, for me, I don't know if Halloween horror events are yes ands. I just, I don't know if they're, but you know. I also don't know if we need to see people eating a poop mountain. Yeah, there were definitely people eating a poop mountain, and he was like, I should eat the poop. And I was like, I said, go away. Um, <laughs> you know, so that's, it's great, I think. Yeah. Let's go maybe do another one or continue down this scary yeah. side that is increasingly filling with a little too much fog. A little too maybe? much fog. All right, let's go. Oh, come on. are just remembering right now that there is a way to get up this mountain. You don't have to do what we did. You don't have to climb it. That's, well, we haven't been here in a while. We forgot, we forgot.
Okay, so we just did Willoughby's Revenge. That was actually really fun. More fun than I think it had any right to be. Yeah, I, I thought it was honest. really good. I'm, so far, the, act, the mazes are actually surprising me with how good they are. Yeah. This was long. Yeah, it very, was long. Very was long. long. Um, haunted, haunted Hotel, but done really well. Yeah. Um, it had, like, a parlor and all this other kind of stuff. So we're in the middle of the scare zone, so we kind of have to look behind us. <laughs> Sorry, I'm um, keep, keeping an eye we're out. Keeping, we're keeping an eye out. Yeah, okay. I... I thought it was amazing. Really did enjoy it. Um, and it's more, again, it's kind of, this is this is campier, yes. I think, than scarier. It still, it still got me. I still shrieked a whole bunch. Yeah, but you sure did. When Which I, is my favorite. When when you shriek and then, lighter. and then, okay. Well, when you shriek and then realize that it's, um, I, I'm distracted because now there's something clickety, clickety, clacketing <laughs> up, up at me. There he is, you see him? He's got really good makeup on. One of the few. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Okay. All right. So, you know, when you scream and then you realize that it's Krista from sixth grade math, sixth period math with her face painted from a makeup a YouTube tutorial, it's, it's still fun, though. It's still yeah. fun. I've enjoyed the last two houses. So let's go to Goth the City Under Siege in the Gotham area and see what that's about. Yeah? Yeah. Come on. We have found light. Okay, so we went through City Under Siege. A lot of clowns with pronounced cheekbones. <laughs> yeah, the makeup is is cool. It's, it is here. Yeah, what I'll say, is there's not quite enough scare actors in this area. I think we only saw maybe six. Yeah, I counted six. Yeah, and so it's a lot of like, um, like graffiti art. Uh, Which, I mean, you know, if you're a city under siege, you probably have that, right? Sure. And I think the idea here is, like, they're... They're supposed to be Joker-esque, right? Joker, but not Joker, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah they can't right. they can't call it that, but that's the idea. It's, yeah. like, Joker's clowns. It's... It's fine. 12-year-old girls seem to be very scared. You know, it's better than the ghost scare zone. Oh, at Universal? Because at least there's some decor here. There's cars yeah. and like the ghost scares on Universal was just four people dressed up in white with those chainsaws. Yeah, so and like in a Hello Kitty store across the street. It's not the worst. Here it's a little better. Not worth the worst scare zone we've seen so far, but it's not. I mean, like pan pan this way, right? No, the other way. See, like they, they, there's stuff. That's a Christmas ball. Well, right now it's an under siege ball. So fair enough. Let's go find something, something else. <laughs> Okay.
we just went through the territory twisted. twisted. Yes. Yeah. Which so, is in the gear work section of Six Flags, if you're familiar. Um, and it's very like kind of steampunky. Um, I think all the scare actors were steampunkish ish. that we saw. Ish. Yeah. Um, what I'm noticing about this event that's maybe a little different than say Knots or Universal is the scare zones dead end. They They're, do. Well, they, this part dead ends. A yeah, lot. and there's well, there's not, and they don't necessarily lead to a maze. So we walked this direction thinking maybe there was a maze over here. There's not. We should have checked the map. That's on us. But I, um, I will say that is a little bit unusual. The scare zone is fine. I was telling Derek as we were going through it, we could use twenty percent less fog and twenty percent more lights. Yeah, they're doing. Uh, they're they're really getting their money's worth out of fog machines and darkness. Yeah, and turning off the electricity. Southern California Edison is very happy with them today. <laughs> um, um, but we are now going to head a little bit more towards the front of the park. I think towards Bugs Bunny Land. Is that what yeah? Bugs Bunny Land has um, a carnival themed uh, scare zone called Carnival, okay. which is fun. Um, and there are three houses in that general vicinity that we're going to try to do condemned house party, which is backed by popular demand. Um, Vault 666 and Truth or Dare, which we're going to try and go figure out if we can find out where those are and see if we had... The other two houses we did were a lot of fun, so I'm I'm sort of... I'm excited for those. Yeah. Um, but we'll just... We'll get back through this and then kind of figure out and maneuver our way around to Bugs Bunny Land. And that's actually, I think, all the houses that they have right now. So they do have Saw and The Conjuring, but they are not... Coming open yet. They, uh, the Conjuring was supposed to be open today right. and they had which production is, issues which pushed the Conjuring back a little bit um, which is unfortunate. I mean that's why we chose our ticket why, for today. That's why we came today. Um, but, but that's but that's okay. I mean honestly I think if we wanted to come back the ticket is relatively affordable uh, after you pay for parking and please don't ever mobile order. Um, we'll talk about value later but Let's, let's, let's go do. Let's go do some more. Come on, let's go see some more stuff. So we've been struggling to find houses. We did go through Carney, Carney, Carn of Hell, Carn of Hell. Um, which it, it was fine. It was fine. It was fine. There, are, a thing we're noticing is there are, people are acting like people are turning themselves up. They gassing themselves up. Yeah, there's this. a lot of like, ah, like you'll see like in our footage, but like it's, I mean people. Full on twenty mile an hour sprints because a, a stilt walker bent down to them and spooked them. Right, which I love that people are having fun. I do, but I also am like, it's a little. It's, is it fun or is it performative? That's yeah. It's almost like it's it's not as that. It's not that serious. Like, ma'am, that demon was wearing Chuck Taylors. You're gonna be okay. I promise. Anyway, we're about to go through what is it, the Devil's, Devil's Lair? Devil's Lair scare zone. And hopefully, I mean, we might find houses, we might not. It's going to be a surprise for it's everybody. It's very challenging to find the houses. So. All right, well, let's go through the spare zone because I can only see that. Yeah.
we are going to do the Condemned House Party, which I think this is a carryover from when they did Screen Break. Oh, yeah, you're right, you're right. Yeah, you're right. yeah. So, should be kind of fun and silly and campy. in there. Oh my. So we just went through the Condemned House Party, um, which I thought was super cute. I yeah, very fun. Campy and very fun. Um, something I'm starting to like is the third house we've been through. I'm kind of liking the interaction with Improv 101 out here. To Me too. It's, it brings a different energy than the other haunts have, yeah, which you, I can appreciate. And if you think back to like Universal, right? Those houses are timed. Every 15 seconds. The, the dialogue episode, is pre-recorded. The dialogue is pre-recorded. Here, though, like, if you end up bantering back with them, which typically I don't suggest you do, um, but... Unless if, that's the vibe. Some of them, some of them the are vibe. doing that, yeah. And this was the vibe. And they were like, they interact with you as well, and it, I think it makes your experience better yeah. a little bit, um, given sort of the, you know, the fact that one of them, like, just had face painting that they clearly got 20 minutes ago put on. Like, so the production value of the people is a little less if you've, if you've been to some other things. The set production pieces, though, I think are pretty good. I think so, too. This one had a really cool thing where you had to, like, duck down under a cabinet and walk through a mop maze. Like, there were yeah. mops hanging down. There are, there are, there's innovation in the way that the scares are administered yes. that I really appreciate. Yes. That is not necessarily super common um, at HHN. But some of that you do see at knots, but not quite at this, not at this level. level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, you know, I think the scare actors are doing a great job, um, sort of interacting with people. It's been really fun. Um, I think we're going to go to Vault Six 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 Unlocked, which is right next door. Um, I've seen clips of this one online, so again, I'm sort of looking forward to the interaction. Um, and let's go see how it is, shall we? Yeah. <gasps> okay. So the line for Vault Six 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 was really long, like too long, like too long. Like we're going to see if it's better, but we may not get to do that. One. Um, but we're going to do Truth or Dare now. We've pivoted. We've pivoted. Congratulations on making it to your official audition. 
My name is Christy Ray, and I'm so thrilled that you decided to take my casting call. Are you ready for your shot at the limelight? Well, without further ado, come on outside so I can finally meet you. Oh, hey. <laughs> Welcome to Truth or Dare, America's favorite game show. Do you think you have what it takes to be a part of the biggest televised event in history? No. Just head on over to Wardrobe to get dressed, oh. and I'll see you on the fifth. <laughs> After you, by all means. <laughs> by all means. After you, please, by all means. You scared? Yeah, I don't know. I just want to get my video card. That's horror or fright fast, right? That's fright fast. That's fright fast. Um, what, what's your what's your assess? If you, what's your one sentence assessment of this? Here's there were a lot of problems. So I thought I can't give you one sentence. I need more. <laughs> I'm verbose. So just don't do the thing I asked. Sorry. Sorry. Um, but we paid for express passes. The lines were still pretty long for many of the attractions. The food lines were incredibly long. Everything had a significant weight. Um, it was pretty disorganized. It was hard for us to find things. The app and the map didn't really help us to locate things. Um, and so all those things ultimately like really diminished this experience. I will say like the mazes were pretty good. I, I had fun inside of the mazes. I thought that they were very entertaining. The scare zones were okay. Um, 
I want, I wanted to love it, um, but I didn't. This, th I don't know that this is um, a haunt that I feel like I need to come back to every year. Um, but, you know, I, I know that a lot of, there's a big creative team that worked really hard on this and I don't want to like bash it. It's just, for me, it, it didn't deliver the way some of the other haunt attractions in Southern California have delivered. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I sort of, I agree with you. You know, the mazes and the scare actors in them, I was actually very skeptical of when yeah. we first walked in. I was like, girl, this is Santa Clarita Community College. I don't know what we're doing up in here. But they were actually the best part of the evening. Yeah. Um, you know, we were able to do five houses um, out of the seven, I think, that are, or the eight that are here. But that is one sort of disappointing factor is that Saw and The Conjuring weren't open. Um, yeah. And it's very foreign to us, I think, as people who have done Knots and um, have done Horror Nights on both coasts, to have to have houses not open. Yeah. And signature um, attractions that, you know, we were at Midsummer Scream and these were sort of the headline right um, announcements and i it's it's pretty disappointing that they were not open again I, I you know i'm sure there's a story behind that and i and i genuinely respect a creative team that says we're not going to open something till it's ready but um but it's but it is disappointing yes. I, I will say still but the houses we went through i think we're fine the scare zones listen if you if your job is to get your 13 year old brother sister niece child father whatever a picture with someone in ooky spooky makeup these scare zones are for you I saw every scare actor stop and pose for pictures, which again is not something yeah, that we, <laughs> that we are see. used to yeah. um, at like a Halloween Horror Nights uh, or a not scary farm, which is not to say it's bad. It's just different. It's um, different. The food situation was awful. Um, if you come here, do not trust the mobile order system. Um, it's like this is I love filling out park surveys. Um, it's one of my things. And I am waiting, girl, for this park survey. Mm -hmm. We spent $80 in food total. Plus $40 in parking. Plus $40 in parking. Did not receive one of the meals that we ordered. <laughs> and then we had, as you saw earlier, that chicken sandwich and those chicken strips. Um, so the value is is pretty bad. Now, had we not done that, had we done what we saw a lot of people do and brought in water and Funyuns and kind of other stuff, maybe the value would sort of I don't out. know. I don't know. Yeah, I don't I don't know either. I, 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 it's cheaper than other attractions in Southern California. We'll, we'll talk about that in our ranking video of the, the Southern California attractions but it, this it is also is... for a lot of people even if you live in los angeles proper we live about an hour outside of los angeles um in the desert but this is still far this is still kind of the furthest thing out except for san diego maybe yeah um you know and i i just don't know i i'm with you on this actually that i don't know i need to come back to fright fest i we were talking this morning about like god i wish we could afford to go back to halloween horror nights and like if, if we could do one again right now, it would be Horror Nights. And I, I had high hopes yeah. uh, for Fright Fest. Um, and I just, I, it, I it fell short, I think, of, of my expectations, particularly when, yes, they have a great creative team. And I'm sure people worked really hard on this. You're up against Not Scary Farm. You're up against Halloween Horror Nights. Who probably have bigger budgets. Who have bigger budgets. But, and, but that's not to say you can't do, I mean, I've been to many, like a school spooky haunted maze. Right. And well, what I'll say is like, it's not even only production value because the the um, mazes we went through were pretty pretty good. They were good, they, yeah. were, they were pretty entertaining. Elaborate sets. Like... Yeah. So you know, it it's this is this is kind of a mixed bag. I, I you know I I never want to be overly negative in a video, but I would say if you could only do one haunt this season and that's your budget, don't this prioritize is, this. One. This is not the one I would pick, even yeah. though it is cheaper. That does... Now, I will say, the, the only other thing that we're not sort of factoring into this, because this isn't something that is particularly of interest to us, if you are a thrill rides person... Oh, sure. And if you love the coasters here, most, if not all of them, were open and operating. So yeah. you can... What? I, my, I would still say do not, because Knott's has many thrill attractions, and the haunt experience is just a little better. It's, it's a different class, right? Like, yeah. If, you, if you're... If you're down with superheroes, I mean, we haven't done Nats, Nats this year. That video's yeah, coming. Yeah, maybe Nats is gonna suck. Who knows? Yeah, but I, I can't it. imagine I it. it's going to. Um, so you know, just do your homework. Watch this video a couple more times. Um, watch, you know, there are some other creators that have really great videos on this too. Maybe get some different perspectives. Yeah, this is one we're not super familiar with and haven't been to before, so we have nothing to compare it to. But um, you know, for us, it, it's it's a miss. If these houses were elsewhere, I would be happy. Yep. Um, if the food experience were better, I would have been happier. If the drink experience would have been 
present existed. <laughs> that, yeah. That would have been, that would have been great. But what I'll say is, you know, we create these videos for you to just get our opinion so that you can make an informed decision for yourself. So yeah. And you may love this event and that, and that's totally okay. We tell actually, us in the comments why you love this event. Like maybe you've been, what, what are we missing? Yeah. What maybe we, we miss? did something. We did some stuff wrong. That is very believable. We don't know this park that well. Right. So, um, it is, it has been 23, 25 years since we've been 25. Six flags I did the math at all. Yeah. So, so anyway, Thank you for watching this video. We're going to be doing haunt videos all season long. You can check, look out for more Turnstile of Terror videos. We've done a Boobash video. We did Halloween Horror Nights. We're going to be ranking all of the Southern California haunts in a video. Um, so keep an eye out for that. We'll also be ranking all the family attractions right. in a video. So uh, we're, follow us on social media, TikTok, uh, Instagram, like, Facebook. Like, subscribe, yeah. comment, do all the things you have to do so that we pop up in your algorithm because not only do we want to provide you with an informed decision, we want to entertain you while we do so. So thanks so much for watching and we'll catch you at the next one. See you Bye. on the next one. Bye. Bye.